This is the eighth dialogue between J. Krishnamurti and David Bohm in Ojai, California, 1980. We left off non movement. Yes. A human being who has been. pursuing the path of becoming and has gone through all that and went through this sense of emptiness, silence, energy and abandoned almost everything hmm? and come to the point of the ground and has this in vo- I mean, insight. How does all that affect his daily life? That's what would came. Yes, that was the question. What is his relationship to society? What is his action with regard to war, the whole world of a a world that's really living in darkness Mm. and struggling in darkness? That's what we. Yes. What is he to do? What is his? Action, right? I would say, sir, you say, as we discussed the other day, it's non movement. What did that mean? Mm. Yes, well, we said before that the ground was mo- was movement without division. Without division. I forgot that yet. Quite right. Now, in some sense, it seems inconsistent to say non-movement while you say the ground is movement, right? Ground is movement, yes. I forgot all that. Sorry. Yeah. Hello, sir. Would you say ordinary, average man, educated, sophisticated, with all his unpleasant activities, he's in, he's constantly in movement, right? Yes, well, a certain kind of movement. I mean, movement in time. Yes. Movement in becoming. And we are saying the man who has trodden, if I may use that word, that path, and come to that point, and from there, what is his action? We said for the moment what word that may mean non action, non movement. What does that mean? Well, it means, as you say, not taking part in this process. Yes, of course, of that's, so that's on, obvious. Yes. Yeah. Well, if he doesn't take part in this process, what part does he play? Would you say a complete non-action? What did that mean? I 
It's no question. Mm. I see something, but I'm trying to put it in words. Well, it's not clear why you should call it non-action. You see, the, you might think that it was action of another kind, which was not part of the process of becoming. Yes, no. or he's not becoming. It's not, but it may be still action. But in he a, still had sense. to live here. Yes. Well, there's one sense in which um, whatever you do is action, in the sense that his action is not directed toward this illusory process, is not involved in it. But it would be directed toward uh, you know, what underlies it, you know, to. Mm -hmm. uh, it, would de it would be directed toward what underlies this illusory process, as you know, it would be directed toward. Like we were discussing the other day, the uh, the the uh, uh, wrong turning, which is continually coming out of the ground. Right? Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. You see, various religions have described a man who has been saved, oh. who has who is illuminated who has achieved something or other, mm -hmm. they have described very clearly what he is, how he walks, especially in, in, in Hindu uh, religious books, I believe, they, it is stated very clearly how he looks, how he walks, yeah. the whole state of his being. I think that is merely a poetic... <laughs> uh, Description of well, something which, imagine, which imagine, uh, you think it's imagination. I'm, I'm afraid a great deal of it. There is mm. imagination. Mm. Though I've discussed this point with some, and they that is not like that. What? That is not imagination. Somebody who described it knew exactly what it was. Well, how should he know? <laughs> not clear. I don't want to personally say you are that. I said, I said, buzz off. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. So what is what is a man of that kind? How does he live in this world? Very interesting question. This. To go into it rather deeply. I think that's right, sir. He's, there is no, there is a non, a state of non-movement. That is, the non-movement which we go, which we've gone into. You know, perhaps we could go. You see, it's not clear exactly what you will mean by non-movement. That uh, it when it becomes poetic. That's hmm. I'm trying to avoid that. You see, would it be right, sir, even poetically, it's like a tree in a single, it's like a single tree in a field. There is no other tree but the tree, whatever the name of the tree is, it is there. Why do you say non-movement, though? You say it's... Uh... It is non-moving. Tree, I'm, I'm yeah, making well, that... Yes, the tree stands, of course, the tree. 
a tree is living, moving. Yes, tree. it's moving. But I don't mean that. I don't mean that. But I mean that yes, the tree in some sense is moving, but the uh, in, in relation to the field that is it stands, right? I mean that's where the picture we get. You see, we. I come to you. You've been through a. You have gone from the beginning to the end, and now you are uh, you are the end with a totally different kind of movement, which is timeless and all that. Yeah, I agree. Now, you are in that. You are that. I come to you and say, what, what is that state of mind? I think that's right. What is the state of that mind, your mind, that has walked on that path and ended something, totally moved out of darkness? What is the state of that mind? If you say it's non-movement, then but are you implying that it's constant? You know that it's. It must be hmm. constant in the sense uh, no constant. What do you mean by constant? Well, it can have many meanings, but. Uh, uh, Continuous. No. 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 But, uh, do you mean it is um, static? It's, no, no. It may, it may oh, mean no, stand, no, stand no, no, literally no. it means to stand firm or to stand huh? together. To stand firm or to stand together as a whole. You see, too. Yes. That's really its literal meaning. To. Is that it? Right. A mind. That's the Im the picture you got of the tree as well, you know. Huh? That's the picture which the tree in the field suggests that it. Yes, yes, I know you. I want that's too romantic and <laughs> poetic, and it becomes rather deceptive. Mm -hmm. It's a nice image, but I move mm -hmm. away from it. What is the mind, sir? What is that mind? I think we have to go through that. What is that mind, quality of that mind, that has started from the beginning and pursued the becoming, went through all that, the centre of darkness has been wiped away, and that mind must be entirely different. No? Yes, well. Now, what, what does such a mind do or not do in the world which is in darkness? Yes, well, Sorry, this yes. sounds. Yeah. Well, I think that you know, the mind does not, uh, it's saying it does not enter into that world, that movement of that world. Agreed. And in that sense, we say that it is constant, you say that it is fixed, not fixed, but. Uh, it does not move, right? But um, as Moody says, static. No, not, it's not, not static. No, not static. No, it's the constancy which comes from, uh, in a sense, it's also movement that uh, the. Um, uh, that there's a constancy which is not merely static, but which is also at the same time movement, right? That movement yes. which determines we itself. We said that constant. movement, not. The becoming movement. No, but the under the the ground movement. The under, yeah, let's call it ground movement. No, which, may, which is completely free. And, and what is that mind? What is the? What has happened to that mind? Let's put. Let's go into a little bit. Mm -hmm. It is not. It is not. It has no anxiety, mm -hmm. no fear, and all the rest of it.
see the word compassion and love is beyond that, right? Yes, well, yeah, that, but that may emerge out of this ground, huh? Yes. The mind being nothing, not a thing, yeah. and therefore empty of knowledge. So all this sounds, unless you oh. will follow right from the beginning. Well, yeah, I have to go through it, otherwise it will make no sense. Right? Yeah, no sense. <laughs> empty of knowledge. And would it, would it be always acting in the light of insight? Yes, well, it, it, it should we, be pervaded. I mean, not, not, in the, not always, but it, it should be uh, of the quality of insight. I mean, yes, that's what I mean. Uh, I mean, I think always brings in time, you see. You know, I, I remove the word. But I would use constantly. Yeah, as constant. A, that's, even, yeah, even well, right, let's use the word constant. It's a bit better, but not good enough. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's use the word constant. Mm -hmm. It is acting constantly in that light, in that flash of what we mm -hmm. use that word of insight. I think that, that's right. Mm. So what does that mean in my daily life, in one's daily life? Earn a livelihood? Well, I mean, that would be another point. I mean, that you would have to find a way to stay alive. I mean, huh? You, you would have to find a way to stay alive. Stay alive. So but I'm, that's why I'm saying. Yeah. As civilization grows, Mm -hmm. um, begging is um, it's not, it's a criminal no act. Allowed, no. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You find some some way to stay alive which doesn't. Uh, so then, just ask him, what will you do? Hmm. He has no profession, no skill. Because his knowledge and all that, he has no coin with which he can buy. Mm -hmm. Yes, but wouldn't it be possible for this mind to learn enough to, uh, you know, to to uh, get what is needed to? Stay? How? Why has he no skill? Huh? Why has he no skill to earn a livelihood? Why should he have skill? To earn a why? Why? Why do you? Why must you have skill to earn a livelihood? You, you say that. And the man says, "Why? Why should I have skill of any kind?" I'm just right. discussing, inquiring. Into, why should I have any skill to earn a livelihood? Well, look, suppose you had to take care of yourself anywhere in the forest. You, you would need a certain skill. You see, uh, suppose you were by yourself in a cave, you know. Uh, uh -huh. I don't want a cave. I know, but if you happen to be wherever you are, you <laughs> need... Too, too dark. <laughs> well, wherever it is, you live somewhere, you see. Now, you need some skill to find the food which you need. You see that uh, if everybody were to do this, then the human race would perish, right? I'm not sure, sir. I well, know what would happen, and let's explore That's what I'm it, coming right? to. Right. But I mean, at first sight it would seem that if everybody would say no skill is needed, then... No, because skill implies, as we said, knowledge. Yeah. From that knowledge, experience, and gradually develop a skill. And that skill gives you an opportunity to earn a livelihood, a meager or a great deal. And this man says, there may be a different way of living and earning. 
We are used to that pattern. Right, sir? And he may say, look, that may be totally wrong. Well, it depends what you mean by skill. You see, for example, suppose he has to drive a car. Now, that takes some skill, you see. Yes. He may want to drive, you know, he may... Yes. I mean, uh, is he going to do without that? Now, you better go into carefully with yeah. the word skill. Yeah. I mean, in the orig- I mean, skill could have a bad meaning of being very clever <laughs> at getting money, but... <laughs> money. So, this man is not <clears throat> avaricious, yeah. is not um, money-minded, is not um, storing up for the future, mm-hmm. he hasn't um, any insurance, <laughs> but he has to live. And when we use the word skill, as driving a car... Or a carpenter, you know, a various... A carpenter has skill, you see, the skill in a machinist, the skill in... Yes. You know, if all those skills were to vanish, <laughs> no, that would all, be impossible. The whole thing collapse. Yes. Of course. I, I don't... I'm not sure we mean... Um, do we mean by that that kind of skill must be denied? Well, no, he couldn't mean that. Couldn't right? I? Don't co- no. No, but then people be can be very, silly. very skillful at getting other people to give them money. You see. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that may be it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that may be it. <laughs> As I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were more skilled at that. Sufficient <laughs> <laughs> to be made at all. But is it that now we have made a division between living and skill, living and working, living and earning a livelihood and our security. It is that, it is that. Right. But I need that to have food, I need to have clothes and a shelter. But is the division necessary? It is not division. I need it. Yes, but as as the society is built now, we have a division between living no, and but working. We, no, but we've been through all that. We're man, yes. We are talking of a man who has been through all this mm-hmm. and has come back, come back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> To the world and says, Here I am. Mm-hmm. What is his relationship to society and what is he to do? Right, sir? Right. Has he any relationship to society? Well, not in a deep sense, you see. Huh? Not in a fundamental sense, no. uh, although there's a superficial relationship he has to have. And yeah. But, all right, a superficial contact with the world. Yes, he has to obey the laws, he has to uh, follow know. the traffic signals. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. <laughs> but, I'm, I want to find out, sir, mm. what is he to do? Write, talk, that means skill. Yeah, well, is that skill of an, of the kind you don't think is necessary? Huh? Is that skill... A, I'm just asking, yeah. I'm just asking. Well, that kind of skill need not be harmful, you see. It's yes. the same as the other skill, carpentry. Yes. That belongs to that kind of skill. Yeah. But what is he to do? I think if we could find out, sir, the quality of a mind that has been through that, from the beginning to the end, you know, Mm -hmm. the path for the last five or six discussions we've had, we went through all that, step by step, 
to the very end. And that man, that man's mind, that man's mind is entirely different. And he, and he is in the world. Hmm. How does he look upon the world? You have, you have reached them, come back. Sorry, these terms. Mm-hmm. And I am an ordinary man living in this world. What is your relationship to me? Obviously, none. Because I am living in a world of darkness. And you are not. So, your relationship is can only exist when I come out of that. When I that's right. When the darkness goes. When darkness ends. Yeah. Then there is a not even there is only that. Mm -hmm. There is not a relationship. There is only that. But now there is division between you and me. And I look at you with my eyes, which are which are accustomed to darkness and to division, and you don't. And yet you have to have some contact with me. Yes. You have to have some, even however superficial, however slight, a certain relationship with me. Is that relationship compassion? Not translated by me as compassion. Not say, oh, so you are not compassionate if you don't do this. Mm -hmm. So I am not looking from my darkness at you who may be compassionate. You identify. Yeah. So I cannot judge what your compassion is, right? Yes. Well, that's uh, what follows from that. Yes. Huh? It follows. Follows. So I don't know what your love is, what your compassion is, because my only love and compassion has been this, in the, and so what? What do I do with you? Which one are we talking about? I'm, huh? I said, which one are we talking about? I sort of got, I'm not clear to me which one we're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you, you, yeah. X, have been through all that. Yes, come back. And, and, yes, and why it has not? Why has not? Mm-hmm. Why says to you? Why I ask? I asked this just now, forgotten it. I would say, sir, mm-hmm. why says, who are you? You seem so different. Your your way of looking at life is different. Who are you? And what what will I do? And why what will why do with you, X. Hmm. That is the question. Not what you will do to me, but what what will I do with you? Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm. Yes. Well, as the why is uh, has to do something. Huh? As you're asking what? Yes, I understand. What will Y do? What will Y do with X? I mean, what will he do? Eh? So, but our question has been, what will X do with Y? X, yeah, X will do. On the contrary, yeah. I think we are putting the wrong question. What will Y do with X? Mm-hmm. I think what would happen generally is I will worship him. Kill him, 
or neglect him. Mm. Right? Yes, well. So, but what? So, if I, if Y worships you, X, then everything is very simple. He has the, he has the goods. <laughs> <laughs> he has the goodies of the world. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't answer my question. My question is not only what will Y do to X, but what will X do with Y? X's demand is to say, look, walk out of this darkness. Mm There is no answer in this darkness. So walk out. Move out, what is matter, whatever phrase we use. Dispel it, get rid of it, etc., etc. And why, why says, then help me, show me the way, and back again. You follow? Mm-hmm. So they. So what will Y do to X? Well, I, I can't say that uh, Y can do very much except what you said to, uh, you know, to worship or to uh, do something else. Yes, right? something else, kill him or oh. yes, neglect him. But I think that uh, if X has compassion. Huh? If X, uh, if yeah. compassion works in X, right? Yeah, well, X is that. Yes, and then he will. You won't even call it compassion. No, but because... uh, we call it that. Yeah, X. Then X will see, will work to find a way to uh, penetrate the darkness. Huh? Hmm? X will do will work will work. Wait. So X's job yeah. is to work on on darkness. Well, to discover how to penetrate darkness. Our darkness. Right. In that way, he's earning a livelihood. Well, possibly. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> no, no. It I'm depends on whether people I'm will pay. I'm talking seriously. It depends on whether people are willing ah. to pay. It depends on whether people are willing to pay him for. It. Oh yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm talking seriously. Mm-hmm. <coughs> well, it's a possible way, anyway. Yeah. So I, I probably that is, X is the teacher. X is out of society, hmm? out of darkness. X is unrelated to this field of darkness, and X is asking, teaching, saying to the people of darkness, come out. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing. Huh? Well, nothing is wrong with it, right? So that is his means of livelihood. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with that? Well, it's perfectly all right. I mean, as long as it, as long as it works, it's perfectly all right. Huh? It seems to work. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, if there were a lot of people like X, there would be some limit. Uh, no, sir. What would happen if there were lots of that people? That would be like an interesting that? question. Yes. Ah, what would happen? Well, then I think that would be uh, something revolutionary. <laughs> that just did. That the whole framework would change. I, that just did. There were lots of people like that. They would not be divided. No. That's the whole point, right? No, I think that if uh, even 10 or 15 people were undivided, they would exert a force that had never, never been seen in our history. That's of, right. You see, because I don't think it's ever happened <laughs> that ten, 10 people were undivided. <laughs> so that's, that is X's job in life. Hmm. He says that is the only thing that a group of those ten exes will be will bring in a, a totally different kind of revolution, right? 
Right. Will society stand that? Stand for that? Well, if they they will have this extreme intelligence, and they will find a way to do it. You see. Of course, of course. Society will stand for it because they will be intelligent enough not to provoke society <laughs> until it, they will. Society will not react until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> quite right. Quite right. You are saying something which is actually happening. Hmm. So what happens? So would you say then? The function of many excess is to awaken human beings to to that intelligence which will dispel the darkness. Yeah. And that is a means of livelihood. Right? Yes. There, is, there are those people who, in darkness, uh, cultivate this, <laughs> exploit people, and those are exes who don't exploit people. All right. That seems very simple, mm -hmm. but I don't think it is. It is all that simple. All right. Is that the only function of X? That seems very simple, doesn't it? Well, it's a difficult function. It's not so simple. Uh, the function may be complicated. Yes. But that, that is, that can easily be solved. Mm. But I want to find out something much deeper than yeah. mere function. Yes, well, function is not enough. I mean, uh... yeah, that's it. What is, apart from function, what is he to do? Why? X says to Y, listen, and Y takes time, all the rest of it. But, and gradually, perhaps, once in a, some time, he will wake up and move away. And the, is that all X is going to do in life? In life, you understand, sir? Is that all? Well, uh, that can only be an outcome of something uh, deeper. I mean, the deeper is all that. What the uh, ground, the ground, and uh, so on. Yes. But is that all he's to do in this world? Just to teach people to move out of darkness. Well, that that seems to be the prime task at the moment. I mean, but in the sense that if this doesn't happen, the whole society will sooner or later collapse anyway. <laughs> but uh, what? But uh, he needs to be, in some sense, creative more deeply. I think. What is that? Well, it's not clear, but. So, suppose you are X and Y, X is you, as X, has an enormous field hmm? mm. in which you operate, not merely teaching me, yes, well. but you have this extraordinary movement which is not time and all that. That is, you have this, ex this abounding energy. Yes. 
and you have reduced all that to teach me, you follow what I mean, mm. to move to darkness. Huh? Yeah, well that can only be a part. So what is the rest doing? You mm, yeah. I don't know if I'm conveying. Yes, well that's what I tried to mean by that some creative action is yes. beyond this is taking place. Beyond that. You may write, you may preach, you may heal, you may do this and that, but it's all rather trivial. Right, sir? Trivial, it's a very small business, but you have something else. Mm -hmm. I have, a, have I reduced you, X, to my pettiness? You can't. My pettiness says you must do something. You must teach, you must write, you must uh, heal, you must do something to help me to move. Right? And you say, all right. You, you, comply to, yeah. to the very smallest degree, but you, you have something much more immense than that. Mm -hmm. You don't sense my question? Yes, yeah, so what? How is that operating on what? On why? How is that mm -hmm. immensely operating on why? Mm -hmm. Apart from darkness, move it. I don't know if I'm trying to well, say. Are you anything. saying that there's some more direct uh, action? Either there's more direct action, or. You are. You are, why X is doing something totally different to affect the consciousness of man. I don't know if I'm... Yes, all right, but uh, what could it be? Uh? Because you, you are not satisfied quotes, merely preaching, talking, all that petty stuff. That immensity which you have, which you are, must affect, must do yeah. something. Yes. Well, are you saying that it, that it must, in the sense of uh, a feeling that you need to do it, or are you saying must in the sense of necessity? Of, it, it, it must. It will. It must necessarily do so. Right? Yes. Right. But how will it affect mankind? Now, you see, when you say this, it would suggest to people that there is some sort of extrasensory effect, you know, that it spreads. That's what I'm trying to capture. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to convey. Not merely through the words or through the activities or gestures. So leave the activity alone. That's mm -hmm. simple. We've yes. gone into that. That's very uh, yeah, peanuts. Yeah. Very, uh, yeah, small it's a matter, potatoes. A matter of making it? it clear, though, that what huh? you, it's only to make it clear what you mean to say that it is not that. It's not that. Not just that. No, not just that. And because that immensity must have, must, must. It. Well, necessarily, you mean. Ne you mean it, it necessarily acts, or? I wonder if you do answer what I'm trying to get at, sir. <coughs> You're saying that there is a more direct action. No, no. There, 
Mm. Not much. All right. That immensely necessarily has other other activities. Yes, other activities, in other ways, in other levels, or other. Yes, other activities. Mm -hmm. Which has been translated in the Hindu and perhaps a little bit as at various de degrees of consciousness. Yes, yeah, so that's what I said. There are different levels, levels of acting yeah. or degrees. Or that too, that too is a very small affair. Yes. You follow? Is it? Well, I was saying that say, since the consciousness emerges from the ground, that that this activity is affecting all mankind from the ground. Yes. Uh, yes, I mean. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, see, this will be. Many yes, people sir. will find this very difficult to understand, of course. I'm not interested in many people. Yeah. I am. An, I want to understand. You, X, and I, Y, that ground, that immensity, is not limited to such potty little affair. Yeah. It couldn't. Yes, well, the ground includes physically the whole universe. Universe, and, and, and to and reduce all that to. Yeah. <laughs> to these little yeah. activities. It sounds so silly. Mm. Yes, well, I think that sort of implies, raises the question, what is the significance of mankind in the universe or in the ground? Yes, that's it. Hmm? Yeah, that's it. Because these little things have very little, even the best that we have been doing has very little significance at that scale, right? Yes. I think, I think, quote for a moment, I'm, this is just opening the chapter, I think that ma that X is doing something, not doing, by his by his very Presence. existence. Yeah. Well, he is making something possible. Yes. Einstein, and you as a scientist, has made something possible, hmm? yes. which man hasn't discovered before. But that's in a, a way which we can see. Huh? We can see that fairly easily because yeah. that works through the usual uh, yes. channels of society, yes. right? That I understand. I'm just uh, you can see that. Hmm. What is this man bringing apart from the little things? What is he bringing? Would you say, sir, this all sounds, uh, putting into words sounds wrong. Excess that immense intelligence, that energy, that something, and he's Unquote. Is what? He must operate at a much greater level than I can possibly conceive. You? Yeah. Which must affect the consciousness of those who are living in darkness. Well, possibly so. Now, the question, see, one, will this effect show in any way, uh, you know, manifestly? Oh, yes, sir. Hmm? Apparently, it doesn't. Apparently, it doesn't. <laughs> if you hear the morning news, <laughs> <laughs> see television and all the rest of the world, apparently, it's not doing it. Yes, yeah, so well, that's where, you know, then that's what's a. Uh, no, it's difficult. It's a matter of great concern that 
mankind. But it must affect, sir. It has to, you say. It has to. Why do you say it has to? Because light must affect darkness. Yes. Well, you see, let, let me say, perhaps why might answer that he is not sure, you see, being living in darkness, he is not sure that there is such an effect. He might say, well, maybe there is. I want to see it manifest in Manifested some way. Manifested, actually. Then I, then yes. I can... Uh, I understand all that. I understand all that. Uh, but uh, not seeing anything and not and still ha being in darkness, why says, you know, what so do I do? You are, are you saying <coughs> it's only only activities just that? No, I, uh, merely that it might it may well be that the activity <coughs> is much greater, but you know it hasn't shown. You see, now if we could see it. How would it be shown? How would why who wants proof of it to well, be not shown? Not even proof, but just shown, to, shown. to be shown. Saying that many see, let's say why might say something like this. Many people have made similar statements. You know, not and you know, some of them have obviously been wrong. And you know, one wants to say, you know, it could be true. You know, see, until now, I think the things we've said make sense, and you know they follow to a certain extent. He censored all that. And, and now you're saying something which goes much further. Yeah. And other people have said things like that, where one feels that they were on the wrong track. You know that they were fooling themselves. And certainly, some of these people were. No, no. Well, X says I'm not. We have yes, been very logical. Right. Yeah, but at this stage, logic will not carry us any further, right? No, very reasonable, rational. Yeah. Yeah. We've been through all that. Yeah. So your excess mind is, is not acting in mm -hmm. any irrational way. Right. Well, you could say that having seen that the thing was reasonable so far, why may have some confidence that it may go further. Yes, that's what but, I'm saying yes, too. But of course, no proof, right? No. So we could explore. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. What are the other activities of X? Of? Of X. We said X has a function, teaching. But we said X has other activities. Maybe. Must have. What, what Necessarily must. Which are what? I don't know. We are trying to find that out. Well, you're saying that somehow he makes possible, I think, the way I understand it, an activity of the ground in the whole consciousness of mankind, which yes. would not have been possible without him. Yes. That is what I understand. That's what I am beginning to... And, sir, aren't you saying, or implying also, that, that his, his contact with why is not verbal? And only the it's not that the why has to listen and say oh, yes, yes but <coughs> some other point. X says that's all petty little petty affair. That's I'm not that's of course understood that we'll do that. But X is X is saying there's something much greater than all that. Is the effect it's... of X is is um, far greater than perhaps then, the, yes. So um, we are trying to find out what is that greater that must must necessarily be operating. Is it something that appears in the daily life of X? Yes, daily life of X is apparently doing the petty little stuff. Yes. Teaching, writing, uh, bookkeeping, whatever it is. Right. Is that all? You follow what I mean? Yes. It seems so silly. Are you saying that in the daily life, X does not look so different from anybody else? No, it apparently is not. Yes, but there's something else going on yes, which that's does what, not show, right? Mm, that's and, it. What, when. 
he may not be <clears throat> when X talks, it may be different. He may say things differently, and so on, and so on. But that's all. It's not fundamental because no, sir, for God's sake. There are also many people who say things yeah, differently. Yeah, that's so. I know. But I mean, there are people who say things differently from other people. No, but the man who has walked yeah. through that mm -hmm. right from the beginning to the end, he's entirely different. The, and, yeah, one, well. and when he says something, that's also different. But I'm not concerned mm -hmm. about that. Let's leave that. Right. <coughs> We're asking such a man. has the whole of that energy to call upon and to reduce all that energy to this petty little mm -hmm. place seems so ridiculous. Yes. Well, let me ask a question. You see, why does the ground require this man to operate on him in, in mankind? You see, why, why can't the ground, as it were, operate directly in mankind to clear things up? Ah, you are asking, just me, just me, just me. Yeah. Are you asking, why does the ground demand action? Why does it require a particular man, you see? Oh yes, that I can easily explain. Hmm. That's part of existence. No, oh, yeah, it's not clear. Yeah. Like the stars. Uh -huh. But can the immensity act directly on the mankind, or does it have to, in the form of a man, go to the consciousness of mankind? Is that what you're asking? Mm, no, can sir. it work directly? We are talking something else. I want to find out uh, what X wants to say. I am not going to be reduced to um, writing, talking. That's too, too petty, too small. That's, we'll do that, but let's leave that alone. And the question is, as you put, why does the ground need this man? Yeah. He doesn't need him. No, but why does then? But when he's here, the ground. Uh... Huh? But if he is here, then the ground will use him. Right? Uh, that's all. Yeah, but would it be possible that the ground could do some, you know, to clear up this that's mess without him? That's what I want him? to find out. What? That's what I'm asking uh, yeah, in what? different words. Uh, is that what? The man, the ground doesn't need man. Yes. But the man has touched the ground. Yes. So the ground is is using him. Let's call it. Mm. Is employing him. Is he's. he's is is part of that movement. Yes. Is that all? You follow what I mean, sir? Am I asking wrong questions? Why should he do anything except this? Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps he does nothing, but uh... that. That very doing nothing, mm -hmm. maybe the doing. Yes, well, in doing nothing, it makes possible the action of the ground. You mean that? Yes. That in doing nothing, which has any specified uh, That's right. aim, specified content which can be translated into yeah. human terms. Yes, but in but still, he is extreme, supremely active in doing nothing. Yes. Uh, it all these songs. Well, could one yeah. say, is there an action which is beyond the time of that man? Uh, he's, 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 sir, don't, he's there. He's yes, then, then therefore we cannot ask for a result of that man. He's not asking results. Well, why is asking for a result? No, he says, I'm not concerned with why. I, I'm only concerned. X says, I'm only concerned if to talk, to preach, to do something, a bit of little stuff. That's a very small thing. Mm -hmm. And that's, I'm not even bothered about that. 
but there is a vast field of which vast field which must affect the whole of mankind. Well, there's an analogy which may not be very good, but consider it that in chemistry a catalyst makes possible a, yes, a certain catalyst. action without itself taking part, yes. you see, yes. but merely by being what it is. What it is. Is that what is happening? Even that is a small affair. Yes. Right? <laughs> Even there, why would say it isn't happening? Because the world is still in a mess. What? Even there, why would say, well, it is not happening, the world is still in a mess. So what has the, you know, the question is, what, is there a proof in the world for the activity of that mind? Nobody, he says, I'm not, X says, I'm sorry, there's no question at all, I'm not interested in proving anything. Right? It isn't a mathematical problem or a technical problem to be shown and proved. He says, this is so. I walked from the beginning of man to the very end of man. And I've, this is, there, there is a movement which is timeless, right? Ground which is the universe, the cosmos, everything else. But the ground need, doesn't need the man, <coughs> but the man has come upon it, right? And the man is still a man in the world, right? And that man says, I'll try to do something or other. Not to prove the ground, not to do anything, but just out of my, out of was wise ex-compassion or whatever, he does that. But there is, there is much greater movement which, which necessarily must play part in the world. Does it play a part through X? Huh? Does the greater movement play a part in the world through obviously, X. obviously. Through the if there were ten X's, mm -hmm. it would be. Of course, it would be. I think we are pursuing something which may not have value at all. What do you mean, no value? Huh? Why do you say no value? Value in the sense. Uh, Which, which X may only see. I'm not saying mm -hmm. this out of vanity, out of escape, or anything. If X says, well, there's nothing, there's something else operating which cannot possibly be put into words. That's not maybe a slight escape, <laughs> but he says, what am I to do? There is nothing. More. There is nothing which a man like Y will understand. He will immediately translate it into some kind of illusory thing. But X says there is. Right? Okay. So it, it must be. Otherwise, so it's also childish. Well, I think that you know why I might say it's not. Uh, it doesn't follow that the universe isn't something fairly childish or trivial. What? I say it doesn't follow that the universe isn't something rather trivial. <laughs> no, but if you say it isn't trivial, no, it's not trivial. Uh, no, but I think that the general view which people are developing now is that the universe has no meaning. 
Yes, yes. And let it move any old way, and you know, all sorts of things happen, and none of them have any meaning. Right? None of none of them have meaning from the man who is here. Yes. But the man who is there, mm -hmm. who is talking relatively, he said that it's full of meaning. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Not invented by mm -hmm. thought and all that, but it has got. Uh, I mean, the word meaning has no meaning there. All right, sir. Which means leave the uh, vastness and all that. Which means X is my only my. The occupation with my with pettiness, and perhaps there'll be ten people who will join game. And that might affect the society. Yes. Which will not be communism, socialism, this, this, the other. Mm -hmm. It might be totally different based on intelligence. Yes. Compassion and all the rest of it. Yes, well, if there were once ten, then it, they might find a way to spread much more, you see. That. That's what I'm trying to get at. Mm -hmm. I can't get it. What do you mean? Sir, you bring the universe, and I translate it into. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's a, you understand, sir? Well, if the whole mankind were to see this, you know, to be and are you saying that that would be something different? Oh yes, sir. Uh -huh. Of course. Would it be a new? Uh, I mean, this would be hmm. paradise on earth. It would be like a, an organism of a new kind. Eh? Of course. I think we better stop there, I don't know. What time is it? Ten past five. Huh. I think we better stop there, sir. Um. See, I'm not satisfied with this. Well, what is it that you're... I'm not satisfied, quotes satisfied, in leaving this immensely reduced to some few words. You mm -hmm. It seems so yeah, stupid, incredible. See, man, <coughs> why is concerned with show me, prove it to me, uh, what benefit it has? Mm, uh, will I get my future? Be if or, he's concerned with that, mm. and he's looking at X with the eyes that have so accustomed to this pettiness. So either he reduces that immensity to his pettiness and puts it in a temple, and has therefore lost it completely, 
But excess, this, so, uh, that's, I won't even look at that. There is something <laughs> there is something so immense that X says, please do look at this. And why I was always translating into show it to me, prove it to me, uh, will I have a better uh, life? You follow? He is concerned always with that. You X brings light. That's all he can do. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Well. Isn't that enough? You better stop this. I'll have to go at this sometime. What? I'll have to go at this sometime with you later. Maybe later. (coughs) Well, to bring the light which would allow other people to to be open to the immensity. Mm. See, is it like this, sir? We only see a small part but that very small part extends to infinity. Well, that means endless. Endless, yeah. A small part of what? No, no. That immensity, yeah. we see only a very sm- as a small thing. Yes. And that immensity is the whole universe. Yeah. I can't help but thinking that it must have some immense effect on why. On many why on mm-hmm. society. Yes. Well, so certainly the perception of this must have an effect. But see, it seems that this is not in the consciousness of society at the moment. I know. But are you saying still the effect is there? Huh? That hmm. yes. Sir. Even a small part of it, if not the infinity, of course, of course, is, obviously, is in itself the changing factor. But we we'll better stop here. Hmm. Well, I mean, we don't want to raise it. The question, but do you think it's possible that a thing like this could divert the course of mankind away from the dangerous yes, course sir, that's that's what taking place? Too. But to to divert the course of man's destruction, somebody must listen, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Somebody, ten people must listen. Yes. So that becomes. Listen, they listen, but I mean. Listen with, to that immensity, uh-huh. calling. Yeah, so the immensity may make possible, uh, may divert the course of man. Yes. Is it, whereas yes. Individual, it. the individual cannot do it. Yes. Individual cannot do it, obviously. Uh-huh. But the individual, but the X who is supposed to be an individual, has trodden this path and says, Listen, but they don't listen. Mm-hmm. Well, then somehow discover it. Is it possible to discover how to make people listen, right? 
More. Oh, you're back. I'm back. <laughs> well. I said, let's stop. But what? <laughs> what do you mean? The actors, don't you? The last oh. appearance. Uh -huh. What does it mean not to do a thing? Why is not to do a thing? What does it thing mean? being thought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't want to go into all that. So I realize as why that whatever I do, whatever I do, sacrifice, give up. Uh, practice, this, whatever I do, I'm still living in that circle of darkness. Right? So, excess, don't act, you have nothing to do. That is, you follow that is translation, that's all right, I'll wait. <laughs> You do everything and say, wait and see what happens. No. I must pursue this, sir. Mm -hmm. Then it's all so hopeless. Hopeless from the point of view of why? Yeah. Not to X.